A very warm good morning to all present here. I am Iris Rishi of BVM second year batch 2. And right now, right now I am going to give a presentation on the topic of stages of consumer behavior. But before starting, I would like to give a special thanks to our respected faculty, Dr. Nishant Kumar Ma'am. So, the first question is, what do we mean by consumer behavior? So, consumer behavior can be defined as the study of psychological, physical, and social actions uh, when individuals buy, use, and dispose of products, services, ideas, and practices. In other words, consumer behavior is the study of how consumers will make their buying decision and what those factors will support or influence these decisions. After we have learned about the definition of consumer behavior, now it's time for us to know about the stages of consumer behavior. So, there are basically six stages in consumer behavior. Problem recognition, information search, evaluation of alternatives, purchase decision, purchase, and post-purchase evaluation. And now we are going to have a look, detailed look on each and every one of them. So, in problem recognition, the consumer recognizes a problem or need or want. The buyer recognizes a difference between his or her actual state and some desired state. For example, you have a broken phone or an old phone. After you, after you have recognized, recognized your problem, now it's time for you to search about information. So information search is the process in which consumers actively seek out and gather information to aid in their decision making. It involves researching and evaluating options to make informed choices. For example, you go to an online store and search about new phones. The third stage is evaluation of alternatives. So it is a critical stage in consumer decision making process where individuals assess and compare their different options before making a final choice. It involves considering various factors and attributes associated with each alternatives. For example, you have this listed 20 to 30 phones among your, uh, inside your budget range. The fourth stage is purchase decision. So here consumer has acquired all of the required knowledge after evaluating all facts and arrive at final conclusion to buy a product. He finally makes a choice of product, brand, dealer, decided amount and purchase time. The fifth stage is purchase. So that the consumer finally purchases the product which he decided in previous stage of purchasing decision. And last stage here is post purchase evaluation. Post purchase evaluation refers to the actions the consumer takes after the purchase. It could be desirable or undesirable. The customer could be satisfied or dissatisfied depending how positive and or negative their experience of the purchase product was. For example, you have purchased an iPhone under 25,000 from Big Billion Days. And now you are expecting a 120 FPS gaming that, but sadly you can, you can only 60 FPS of gaming. So you can be dissatisfied with this. And that's all I have to say about the topic. Thank you.